trophy. So absorption, as I've told you, many absorption, absorption will act, uh, happen in many forms. So you can see the main predominant form of absorption is uh, so sodium, sodium potassium. So you can see this different uh, anionic amino acid, neutral and cation. So these three different type of amino acid transporter are there. So anionic EAT, anionic amino acid transporter, neutral amino acid, you can see sodium and amino acid co-transporter similar to s glute s glute okay and you can see this there are antiport also present so we will show some antiport you can see some antiport will be there with chloride so here you can see even with this antiport you can see with sodium also antiport are there so predominantly symport there can be antiport and then here you can see amino acid anionic amino acid transporter is there so different different type of so different type of amino acid transporters are there but predominantly many predominantly amino acids are very similar to this so just do this question we have we have how much time left we have time okay we have 19 minutes you can do that so a 12 year old boy is brought to his pediatrician by his mother Due to progressive confusion, diarrhea, and itchy rash. So he recovered from the flu about a week ago, but still feeling tired. Over 48 hours, he has had several episodes of diarrhea per day. On exam, he has tremor, intermittent ataxia, and rash. His mom says that he has previously had these kinds of symptoms, usually after he has an illness. So illness always aggravated the same thing, the problem. He is given nicotinic acid and placed on high protein diet and quickly recovers. See, this is the treatment. Nicotinic acid means niacin, vitamin B3. And then high protein diet is treatment treatment of this vitamin and plus protein is the treatment for this patient and see what are the presentation here rash confusion and diarrhea plus ataxia so what is the diagnosis what would be the diagnosis okay. that's know. a good answer that's a good answer actually Ketura, that's a good answer at least you tried you recognize something Paladra. Very good. Pelegra. So what is the deficiency in Pelegra? What deficiency caused Pelegra? Vitamin B3 deficiency. So niacin deficiency. Okay. From this question, easily you can see niacin deficiency is there. That's good answer. Not bad answer. Maybe not correct, but good answer. So B, try, try to answer. Now, I'll tell you. Niacin deficiency. Yes, niacin deficiency is there. You can see in this patient what will happen. This niacin is deficient. Yes, niacin is deficient. Niacin is deficient. What is niacin? Niacin is this, is this type of vitamin. Niacin has like this type of this type of ring in this niacin. Niacin has this type of ring. You know that? This type of ring niacin. One nitrogen is there. This is this type of ring is there in niacin. So this niacin can be synthesized from an amino acid, tryptophan. Tryptophan. The letter is W. It is synthesized from this in our body. This is the only vitamin that is synthesized. And for synthesis, it requires the help of vitamin B6. So I have told you the function of vitamin B6. He is a very good man. B for vitamin synthesis, synthesis of vitamin. E for him, him synthesis is B for vitamin. So you can see here, uh, vitamin B6 is involved in vitamin synthesis, niacin. Now, what will happen? If, if this is deficient, okay, 
this will cause pellagra and if this is deficient what will happen this because of it will also be deficient this will also be because of this deficiency this will be also be deficiency it will cause what it will cause pellagra and that is a good answer but uh, there are other function of this trypto tryptophan as well tryptophan you know tryptophan is will also form serotonin 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 is what the other, what is the other name of serotonin 5 hydroxy tryptamine from tryptophan so did you understand this and because of this tryptophan deficiency this will also be a problem this will affect your brain so brain and your pellagra brain involvement plus pellagra here problem is in tryptophan deficiency problem is here tryptophan deficiency tryptophan deficiency yes did you understand this pathogenesis be quick to answer yes sir okay so because of this tryptophan deficiency and why the, why is this deficient because the transporter that is present in intestine is defective transporter for tryptophan is defective and that is why it is not absorbed or your body has deficiency in tryptophan and this deficiency will cause deficiency in niacin and then serotonin serotonin is to brain you can see that is why it is ataxia this will cause ataxia because of lack of serotonin 5 hydroxy tryptamine serotonin and then you know what is which type of neurotransmitter is this serotonin it is for satisfaction serotonin is for satisfaction satisfaction your confidence your contentment happiness not just that pleasure type of happiness calmness peace of mind is the serotonin is required for all the satisfaction you you told you, you must have religious people you may have said that okay you need to be satisfied but i you need to be satisfied in your life you need to be content in your life you need to be peaceful in your life but i'll tell you you need to have you need to increase medically when you need to increase five hydroxy tryptamine in your brain so you will become satisfied so this is five hydroxy tryptamine how do you increase you have to take this tryptophan so this is another significance i'll tell you now this tryptophan is deficient that is why five hydroxy tryptamine is deficient and this will cause problem in the brain ataxia here tryptophan is absent that is why niacin is deficient niacin and this tryptophan are absent because of this w i'll represent right w this is because of transporter defect let's see what happens now this is the diagnosis is heart nerve disease what is heart nerve disease heart nerve disease is because of actually intestinal and tubular reabsorption intestinal absorption and tubular reabsorption are very very specific transporter amino acid is deficient here so that transporter is called neutral amino acid transporter just remember this b not is it b not is neutral amino acid transporter b not or something else i'll i'll tell you neutral amino acid transporter so this is called neutral amino acid transporter so this neutral amino acid transporter is deficient and because of this this tryptophan is affected more and this all amino acid will be affected but tryptophan will be affected more i will tell you why so tryptophan will be affected more and tryptophan will be deficient why this all amino acid are not deficient i will give you explanation and this tryptophan will be deficient more and this you can see nicotine and that is why nicotinic acid and serotonin will be deficient and that is why pellagra like presentation in cerebral ataxia so these are the presentation pellagra plus cerebral ataxia is equal to heart nerve disease don't forget this is a very important condition now diagnosis how do you diagnose you increase uh, increase there will be increased level of amino acid in urine understood there will be increased amount of amino acid in urine which amino acid neutral amino acid including tryptophan what is the treatment we have seen high protein diet and nicotinamide will be the treatment now i will explain it more so if amino acid transporters of tryptophan is defective then the same thing once uh, sonia asked me question 
about the transporter, something copper transporter in Menke's digits. Why would this copper appear in the urine? The same way here, if transporter is defect, uh, defective, why would this tryptophan will appear in urine if it is not absorbed? So answer to this question is, some tryptophan is absorbed in the form of peptide. Okay, in the form of peptide, some tryptophan is absorbed in the form of peptide. But peptide transporter is there. So there are many types of transporter in intestinal epithelium pro protein. This is why protein digestion and absorption becomes important. And then, and since there is more than one transporter for various amino acid, and that is why amino acid absorption easily treated as high protein. It can be easily treated by high protein diet. If you give high protein diet, it will be absorbed from some other way. So see, let's see about this amino acid transporter here. I will see first amino acid transporter. You can see amino acid, for example, this B naught. You can see here this amino acid transporter here, and then tryptophan. Where is this tryptophan? You can see this tryptophan here. This amino acid, this. Neutral amino acid, B not amino acid. Here, tryptophan and all leucine, isoleucine, all are whatever I've written, it will fall under this. Okay, this will be absorbed here. So, tryptophan will also be absorbed by some other transporter, and there are some peptide transporter will be there. Though it is peptide transporter is not so. The peptide transporter is shown here. You can see peptide transporter. You can see somewhere here peptide transporter is shown. Sometimes I don't. Uh, yes, you can see here. This is peptide. So peptide, yes, peptide transport. You can see peptide transporters are there. Some peptide transporter will transport peptide, and some other transporters are there that will also transport. In addition to this, there are transport. And you can see glycine is absorbed by not only this transporter. This is absorbed by other also. So one amino acid can be absorbed by uh, many. Um, Transporter. That is why you can see glycine is absorbed by this, this, this. That is why this amino acid deficiency will not happen. This other amino acid deficiency will not happen. This amino acid deficiency will affect more because here you can see the trans other transporter is not that effective. So there is only tryptophan, many, but tryptophan is also few only dedicated for tryptophan. It is also low affinity transporter, but but this is low affinity transport. This is also low affinity transport. This is also see. Tryptophan has less transporter. That is where tryptophan deficiency will be affected more. So this will cause tryptophan deficiency. This is the reason for this tryptophan deficiency. So heart numb disease will have tryptophan deficiency mainly. Now you, you, we can talk about this question. So 14 year old boy presents to emergency room complaining of sudden severe intermittent right flank pain. In flank pain. Here in the plan. So, associated with nausea and vomiting. Physical examination is remarkable for the slight fever. You can see tachycardia is there, tenderness in the right quadrant. Okay, tenderness is there, tachycardia, tenderness, and then of the abdomen and right and right flank. His routine urine analysis shows hematuria is there. Okay, after three way film of abdomen, so abdominal x ray. What did it show? Uh, radio opaque stone is shown in right flank, right kidney. So you begin treating him for kidney stones. Okay. When further urinal urinalysis testing revealed the presence of cysting crystal, cysting crystal. Okay. You begin to wonder whether the patient suffer from autosomal recessive disorder. This is associated with abnormal renal and intestinal transport of four amino acids. So what is the diagnosis here? Be quick. Diagnosis is cystinuria, the amino acid transporter defect. And then what is the cause of disorder? The defective channel that will transport this amino acid, C-O-A-L, cystine, ornithine, arginine, and lysine. And then what is the treatment of this disorder? So we will talk about this. So you can see this type of amino acid transporter, B not basic, 
and uh, neutral, both amino acid, because cysteine is neutral. A for arginine is basic. Ornithine is also basic. C, O, A, and then L is also lacing. So basic and neutral amino acid transporter, B not plus. So this amino acid transporter will actually defect is a it's autosomal recessive disorder, defect in proximal convoluted tibial and intestine that will cause cysteine stone in deposition of cysteine. Cysteine will not be reabsorbed, and that is why this will cause cysteine stone, and cysteine stone will cause flank pain and hematuria. So this cysteine crystal are hexagonal crystal. You will see that hexagonal crystal. How do you treat alkalization? So alkylating agent like potassium citrate and acetazolamide, and chelating agent penicillamide. That will increase the solubility of the this stone, and you limit little bit the protein diet. You should the you should recommend the patient protein diet that is less in the cysteine type of amino acid. Now you can see this.